also I just got another call that came in and this call is for a gentleman that was backing up and he somehow got half of his car teeter-tottering off of the side of the road so I've had this call a few times and the way it sounds is, is his is pretty bad so you know I just told him not to mess with it because a lot of times they'll try to get themselves out and they'll just make make things worse and make things more expensive and, and harder to do so uh, one piece of advice I can give people and the piece of advice that I gave him is just don't mess with it I'll be there I'm only 20 minutes away so we're gonna pull up and see if we can help this gentleman out and get this car out in one piece <laughs> like this because one wrong turn you got maybe a couple inches on each side you know with the wide deck and everything and um, you know very easily I can be the one needing help to get out of here and um, that's one thing that sucks about pulling down sketchy driveways like this I mean this is why he got stuck in the first place because you know he's in a normal car this is an oversized tow truck you know compared to them little tiny cars or you know consumer vehicles coming in and out of here so I'm um, just gonna inch it in here just little by little I means no race I'd rather be uh, on the safe side than having to have to call someone to come get me and someone probably wouldn't even come get me because I mean this is sketchy so That's the hill right there that we had to come all the way. So, little by little, I think I'm good now. So, I kind of prefer doing it this way anyway because uh, I won't have to do no crazy three point or anything to get to him. I could most likely, I mean, I don't even see where he's at, and I could probably just uh, almost guarantee that I can drive right up to him. And look, he's all the way up there. And look, there's a pond, and then there's, man, I mean, this is sketchy. Jesus Christ. Oh, my. I do not like this, but at least there's a curb on one side. So, I'm not going to hold my camera and do this, so uh, let me get up here, and then uh, we'll resume. That was the kind of thing where I was like, well, I'm either going to get it on the first try <laughs> Well, that was a little bit of an incline, but nice piece of property you got out here. Yeah, that was just that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Shit, you might as well. Block to the wheel lift, and this should be a lot better. Do it this way so I can't get a good angle. This is such a pitch, there's no way I'll crack my freaking frame right now.
You got the key in there? Yeah. Okay. So the best way to do this is um, we're going to go ahead, leave the br brake on partially. Um, we're going to leave it on just enough to keep some tension from this thing from rolling. And um, we're going to put it neutral so we can disengage the transmission. So having it a couple clicks up, we'll make sure that it don't, um, you know, roll backwards on this crazy hill. So we'll get it right there about snug tight plus one click. And then we're going to put a ramp down, make this a little bit easier. But that's where he's going. That's what I'm using. I, I might need them, but we'll start pulling on it and then we'll see from there. Well, I'm at least happy that this isn't a Suburban. I mean, it's pretty much the smallest car out there. So, oh my God, it's such a grade. I learned over the years. I'm gonna use these skates to level me out and give me some better grip. So there goes nothing. by little just enough to where it's not going to come flying towards me and um as you can see she's coming you know what i'm saying yeah. so you know little by little we're going to snug the brake a little bit more because she is coming a little hot there okay. but what i'll do also is we'll take a couple of these big old rocks and then we'll put it about nah, just to stop it yeah you know what i'm saying that'll yeah. give me something you know You hear that e-brake? That's what we want to hear. Because it's just. It, I saw underneath it. It looked like fluid coming down, but it was grass. As I got thinking. Yeah, yeah. Um, these cars, you know, they have sensors and stuff. When they feel something is not right and uh, something's off, you know, they'll shut themselves down. I so. Think, yes, you think that's what that was? I'm hoping so. Okay. Sorry. No, sir. Then we'll just make a nice little landing ramp just like that. And she will pull right back on the road. Until I back up and do it again. No. <laughs> Although that has happened before. It will not happen. There, that's it. That's the money. Going out with Thorin Park. 
and you literally will just be able to drive it right off. That's I call those right there, I call them the Oz ramps. Yeah. My name's Oz, uh -huh. and I always use, I kind of like made them. Yeah. So I use the Oz ramps to. So those aren't just pieces of wood? You actually they're just pieces of wood that I just <laughs> stair-stepped and they're worth their weight in gold. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. They did the trick here. Oh yeah. Just like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple a couple times you have to because you know i'm the kind of guy where i hey i figured it out you know what i'm saying just like you i'm sure you didn't get a nice house like this and stuff because you gave up and you know <laughs> yeah they told me i couldn't build here yeah well you didn't give up right that's a beautiful piece of property how long have you been here for almost 30 years wow that's cool man years. that's pretty amazing so there was literally nothing Nothing. Oh yeah. Well, nothing we over here. here. There was nothing here. Yeah. That's a 30-year-old house. Wow. I say that roof ain't nothing but a couple years old. Yeah, I can tell it is a nice pretty one. Interesting, huh? Oh yeah. Never a dull moment in tone, that's for sure. Going in? Yeah, I'll do it. No, I'll, I'll get it just because. Full service around these parts. Okay. You're not the first one to go the wrong way. So I can back all the way out, and that's it. All right, so we'll go ahead and um, take care of some business. So now we got to go back down the sketchy driveway. Um, and I told the guy, you know, this is a beautiful property that you got here. He said he's been here for 30 years and he had to fight to build his house here. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, they get their fair share of Amazon trucks stuck back here and stuff. So. Um, I figured I'd share the beautiful scenery with y'all because uh, this is really 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 awesome back here So I didn't uh, head out to the next call. Hopefully it won't be as sketchy as this one But this one did pay pretty good. So well, I'm gonna have to juice it here, but I'll see y'all see you on the next call